Hello, it's Scott Manley here. I've been performing some experiments on the behaviors of carbons as they fall through the atmosphere. This is um, looking towards recreating MOOSE, which is an acronym for Man Out of Space Easily. However, I have been um, suffering a number of failures, especially with the small craft. The larger craft have more inertia and the accelerations are lower when the chutes deploy. So yeah, you can return on those, but that's not quite the MOOSE experience. Anyway, during these experiments, I have discovered that carbons have much lower wind resistance than the rest of the bits of the spacecraft. You see here, as we enter the upper atmosphere, this carbon in rocket pack mode is uh, flying forwards as the, the rest of the wind is, or the air resistance is pulling the debris from his ship backwards. Now, this is different from uh, reality when most spacecraft pieces will fall a lot faster than the astronauts. Astronauts will typically have a terminal velocity of about 70 meters per second. But the spacecraft will fall faster. Indeed, it was once said that if you were to jump out of the space of the space shuttle during final landing approach, um, it would land before you hit the ground because its glide slope was so darn steep. Anyway, if you're in rocket pack mode, you do catch some air wind resistance and your velocity is reduced to a few hundred meters per second. So it definitely exists. Of course, it's still way above the 100 meters per second that we get from, um, from typical pieces of debris. And uh, the EVA suit isn't enough to stop you. So uh, yeah, you splash down with quite a force and die. So yeah, I decided to put three guys up, one in a rocket pack, one just let go and one in ragdoll. So I smash him in and apparently I bounced off at 150 meters per second. So, well, we'll just have to follow this guy because as he travels too far away from the, the rest of his crew, um, the game will remove them once they get too low in the atmosphere because it doesn't want to do atmospheric physics. However, it does, uh, well, the experiments show that Ragdoll and Kermans have practically no wind resistance. There is some there, but he's traveling at 10 kilometers up at 1.5 kilometers per second. You can't orbit with a Ragdoll and Kerman, but um, you can definitely hit the ground faster than anything else. <laughs> I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.